for subtitles. Please click here on your screen. जियो तो ऐसे जियो और जाना है तो भी ऐसे ही जाओ वेयर इज लता मंगेशकर गॉन शी इज गॉन नो वेयर Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years. Rehman Music Sheets. She remains immortal, defining the melodic moods of our times and forever. She remains the reigning diva of Indian film music. 6th February 2022. Lata Mangeshkar left us, but for billions of people across the globe, she is alive with us through her voice, her songs. Everyone who ever interacted with her has a Lata story. A number of guests on Rehman Music Sheets shared their favorite moments with the great singer. We have collated those fond memories as a tribute to our very own Lata Didi. Nineteen ninety-eight, Melody Queen of India Lata Mangeshkar and A R Rehman came together for the first time. The film was Dil Se. Wordsmith Gulzar was writing lyrics on Rahman's compositions also for the first time little did he know that there were surprises in store jiya jane ja jane nenu tele jiya jane ja lata ji pehli pehli baar rahman ke sath gaana ga rahi thi aur singer nazar nahi aata wahan se jahan se wo recording karta hai हमारे यहाँ सामने है ना इशारे से भी बोल देते हैं इशारे से वो सम भी दे देते हैं वन टू थ्री भी दे देते हैं और थोड़ी देर में लता जी ने दी में कहा हिंदी वो समझता भी नहीं था बेचारा उस वक्त अब तो रहमान हिंदी अच्छी बोलने लग गया समझने लग गया तो कहा हिंदी में मुझसे कहा माइक कि लता जी मैं कोई सामने नज़र नहीं आ रहा है तो मैं किसके लिए गाऊँ कोई तो कॉन्टैक्ट हो आएगा मुझे बड़ा ऑकवर्ड लग रहा है कि कोई कांटेक्ट नहीं है जिस सामने एंड एक आर्टिस्ट के हिसाब से फनकार की तरह से वो ठीक लगती है बात कि कोई कांटेक्ट तो सामने हो आप अकेले तो सुना भी नहीं सकते नजम भी नहीं सुना सकते तो मैं रहमान को एक्सप्लेन किया तो मैं क्या एक काम करता हूँ क्योंकि जहाँ से वो शिफ्ट तो नहीं हो सकता वो दरवाजे का तो इन बिटवीन एक जगह मैं क्या मैं स्टूल पर यहाँ बैठ जाता हूँ सो दैट शी कैन सी मी एंड यू कैन सी मी टू तो मैं एक स्टूल लेकर उस दरवाजे के सामने वहाँ पे बैठ गया और वहाँ से शी गॉट सम डायरेक्शन और इस तरह से उन्होंने गाना गाया था लता जी ने For the Telugu version of Dil Se, this song was sung by K S Chitra, one of the best playback singers in Indian cinema. If Lata Mangeshkar is called Nightingale of India, Chitra too is known as Little Nightingale. We all grew up listening to Lata Ji. Uh, she's always in. all the female singers lata ji is there because we we listen to her and we grew up listening to them and you know all their uh, uh, some qualities here and there all the playback singers have uh, i had personal experience two three times with lata ji uh, once uh, i sang for her 75th birthday and uh, that day i got to meet her uh, personally and get her blessings and then um on her 80th birthday we released an album called nightingale uh, uh, she called me for after listening to that album and uh, spoke some good things uh, about me and uh, uh, after that when i lost my daughter she called me again and uh, uh, there was an award function in lata ji's name an award was given in hyderabad so i was selected for that award and i w- i refused to go because uh, i was not Uh, personally i was not uh, in a good feeling to go and receive the award then lata ji called me personally and she said uh, i i knew about all the things happened for you in your life um, um rest of your life is music only so i don't want to want you to sit at home 
please go and receive the award i will come i want to see you you should come so i went and received that award only for lataji because she insisted she is an icon she is an nobody can forget her and she'll be uh, she's uh, in everyone's life she is there not even even a single day passes without listening to her songs In 20th century, Mahatma Gandhi introduced us to Satyagraha. At the turn of the millennium, Rangde Basanti gave us a new tool for activism. A song, the first to it between Lata and Rahman, stood out, redefining relationship of a mother with her son who is dead. My dream was to sing along with Lata ji and I. That also came true with uh, Luka Chupi. Luka Chupi. Released on 26th January 2006, Rangde Basanti was India's official entry for the Oscars in 2007. It was nominated for British Academy Film Awards. In India, it won four national awards, six Filmfare, eleven IFA, and seven Screen Awards. A R Rahman swept all the awards as the best music director. The film revolves around a dark subject, yet Rangde Basanti's music has stood the test of time. Thodi si dool meri, dharti ki mere vatan ki. Thodi si dool meri, dharti ki mere vatan ki. Thodi si kushbu baari. what could we do with this movie and the movie was uh dark in a way because all the kids die in the end and why should you see this movie and it's it's got something but it's also a very risky movie so i was constantly trying to gravitate towards as a team we were trying to gravitate towards uh what would make this um the soundtrack so addictive and what would make it um close to the movie too and uh, so the whole soundtrack almost 70% of the 70 80% of the soundtrack finished in 2 weeks you know all the ideas i gave and i got lyrics from prasoon and we finished it and then and then i was thinking of why can't we do a song with lata ji for this and where and do something completely opposite to the and and that that's when luka chupi came in so that's one of the um uh another experience which i would never forget luka chupi bahutri samanya jaana there's a situation where wahida ji gets the indian flag of madhavan who has lost his life in a mig aircraft crash and uh, it's his funeral ceremony and yeah it's a painful situation it's a mother who's lost her son and is looking for a son and a son is singing back to her so the son's voice became ar rahman and the mother was none other than uh, lata didi and uh, he composed the song he did the sargam uh, then we did the lyrics on that and then lata ji came and uh, it's a do it and she rehearsed the song that is the mo- uh, the, the greatness of lata ji she called me up and she said beta main 
चेन्नई जा के रिकॉर्ड कर सकते हो मैंने कहा नहीं वो एआर ने कहा था वो खुद ही बॉम्बे आ जाएंगे आप क्यों तकलीफ उठा रहे हैं कहते नहीं वो उनके स्पेस में ही जाना अच्छा है सो एंड दैट्स हर हाउ हम्बल शी वॉज एंड शी वेंट थ्री डेज बिफोर दैट एंड फ्रॉम दी एयरपोर्ट शी सज मेरे को स्टूडियो ले चलो ऐसे नहीं आप होटल जाके थोड़ा आराम कीजिए <laughs> नहीं यू एंड टू द स्टूडियो एंड ए आर रिसीव हर एंड स्ट्रेट अवे लेस हियर द कॉम्पोजिशन शी हर्ट द कॉम्पोजिशन वी ऑल नो वॉट द सॉन्ग बिकेम एंड देन शी सेड कैन आई रिहर्स इट कैन यू गिव इट टू मी ऑन अ कसेट You know, she belonged to a generation where you would hear it on a cassette player. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, a Walkman. So, uh, three days in a hotel room, she would go back and forth, all that. And on the fourth day, when she came for the final recording, we had arranged a mic for her like this, and uh, there were some flowers, a bottle of hot water, and glass. So she came and said, "Ye mic itna niche kyu hai?" उसको थोड़ा ऊपर कीजिए ना वी सेट नो बट यू नो यू कैन सेट एंड रिकॉर्ड ये सर नहीं मैं बैठ के गाना खड़े होके गाना गाऊ सकती हूँ एंड देन शी स्टार्टेड सिंगिंग एंड जैमिंग विद ए आर एंड बिकॉज ए आर वॉज डूइंग द सरगम सो ही वॉज सिंगिंग अ लॉन्ग फ्रॉम द इन साइड रूम एंड ही वॉज एडिंग इज ओन लिरिक्स बिकॉज इट्स अ गिव एंड टेक सॉन्ग यू नो यू जस्ट कॉन्ट हैव वन आर्टिस्ट परफॉर्म एंड द अदर नॉट परफॉर्म and she refused to sit down on the chair for the next 8 or 10 hours she was standing till the song was over and in the age of digital recording uh, where quite often if something goes off beat or you want to stress a word or you want to sing it slightly differently you punch it in because digitally you can do now be non linear but she insisted she would sing the whole paragraph again not just that one word or one line she would sing all the four lines or six lines again and uh, for me i was standing in between greatness on both sides of me and and just uh, wondering like a child in disney world Born in 1929 in Indore, Lata Mangeshkar's father, Dina Nath Mangeshkar, was a classical singer and theatre actor. After his death, to support her family, Lata too acted in few films. It stopped with her success as a playback singer. Half a century later, Lata agreed to appear on screen again. composed by rehman the song lata mangeshkar sang on screen was for pukar i pleaded requested and somehow she saw my madness my passion she was very sweet she consented imagine she came to hyderabad she liked the situation she liked the song and uh, i feel i'm blessed that finally on screen i'm the only film maker who has lata mangeshkar singing in the film it was a big deal it is still a big deal you know to get lata ji to sing in the film lagan a milestone in the history of indian cinema mixing sounds from western classical indian classical and folk ar rehman created music that enthralled the world its song o palan hare was sung by lata mangeshkar and sadhana sargam In her entire career of more than 4 decades this is the only song Sadhna Sargam sang with Lata Mangeshkar O palan hare nirgun aur nyar tumre bin hamra kaun ho nahi ji mujhe kaha gaya ki ye gana hai lagan film ka hai aur o palan hare jo 
लता जी ने गाया है साथ में ऑफ कोर्स नहीं गाया था उन्होंने बाद में किया या पहले किया ये भी मुझे पता नहीं लेकिन मैंने अपने मन से वो पूरा गाना इतना सुंदर गाना है तो मैंने गाया फिर जब पता चला कि ऐसे ऐसे है लता जी गाने वाली हैं या लता जी ने गाया तो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा क्योंकि उनके साथ में मेरा कोई गाना नहीं है आ, मतलब हमारी जो आशा दीदी हैं उनके साथ में मैंने दो तीन गाने गाए हैं लेकिन आ, द मतलब भारत रत्न लता मंगेशकर जी जो लता दीदी हम सब उनको कहते हैं आदर से प्यार से तो लता दीदी के साथ कोई गाना नहीं लेकिन ये गाना कहीं ना कहीं से उनके साथ मेरा कनेक्शन हो जाता है तो मुझे इतना प्राउड फील होता है इतना अच्छा लगता है और ऑफ कोर्स उन्होंने जो गाया वो सुन के तो मैं घायल ही हो गई लेकिन आ, मेरे लिए एक ये बहुत 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 महत्वपूर्ण गाना है हम सभी लता जी के गाने सुनकर बड़े हुए हैं अब वो हमारे बीच नहीं है उनका जाना क्या मायने रखता है आपके लिए उनका जाना ये तो मतलब इसके लिए क्या कहूँ मैं बहुत मैं उस वक्त एकदम मुझे लग ही नहीं रहा था कि वो जाएगी मतलब वो लगता है कि हॉस्पिटल से वापस आने वाली है ऐसा ही मेरे दिमाग में था जब ये न्यूज़ सुना मैंने बहुत शौक हुई मैं बहुत बहुत मतलब आँखों में आंसू आ गए लेकिन ये एक अंदर एक है कि लता जी उनकी आवाज़ उनके गाने इतने हम में सब में बस चुके हैं इस इस देश के हर एक हर एक इंसान के दिल में बस चुके हैं कि वो हमारे साथी हैं उनके गाने उनके गाने के ज़रिए वो हमारे पास में हैं वो ऐसा लगता नहीं कि वो गई हैं वो हैं हमारे साथ उनके गानों के ज़रिए वो आशीर्वाद दे रही है ऐसा ही अभी मुझे लगता है और उनसे मैंने जब जब भी मुलाकात बहुत कम हुई उनसे मुलाकातें जब भी हुई उनके पाँव छुए तो उन्होंने बहुत प्यार से आशीर्वाद दिया हमेशा पूछा कशिया इस तू रियाज चल रहा है ना मतलब कभी मराठी में तो मुझे बहुत खुशी होती थी उनकी आवाज़ अभी भी कान में है कितनी मीठी आवाज़ जो मतलब आप भूल ही नहीं सकते ऐसी खनक ऐसी मिठास आवाज़ में और जब वो पूछे कि कशी ऐसे तू तो इतना प्यारा लगता था वो मतलब मैं उन उनके सामने जब जाती थी ना अपने आप को भूल जाती थी इतनी उनके फैन हूँ मैं तो वो नहीं है इस बात का दुख है लेकिन उनके उनका संगीत अमर है 1971, Kavita Krishnamurti recorded her first song, A Do It with Lata Mangeshkar. It was composed by Hemant Kumar for Sri Man Prithvi Raj, a film in Bengali. Unka jo studio mein safed saadi mein simplicity se aana aur jis tarah wo gana ga kar jab pehla mic rehearsal hota tha, wo mic rehearsal ek perfect take hota tha. Jab tak wo kaam pe sure nahi thi ki is gaane mein mujhe kaise gana wo mic ke samne nahi jayenge. और जब माइक पे फर्स्ट रिहर्सल होता था ऐसे लगता था कि इससे तो बेटर गाना हो ही नहीं सकता इससे बेहतरीन वो गा ही नहीं सकती ऐसा लगता था इतना मतलब कमाल मेरे लिए तो प्रभु कुंज में लता जी हैं और प्रभु कुंज में हमेशा रहेंगी ऐसे कैसे हो सकता कि प्रभु कुंज में लता जी नहीं है मतलब लता जी भी कि जैसे भारत माता है भारत का सेवेंटी फिफ्थ सेलिब्रेट हो रहा है फिर हंड्रेड होगा तो भारत के साथ तो मदर इंडिया लता जी जुड़ गई हैं और एक बात की मुझे खुशी है कि इतना शान से गई और इतना देश से उनको प्यार मिला हर जगह उनके गाने आज बज रहे हैं जियो तो ऐसे जियो और जाना है तो भी ऐसे ही जाओ तो फॉर फ्रॉम हर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट कुड नॉट हैव बीन बेटर and now i am not sad because i feel she lives with us and she went at the right age also you don't want her to be lying sick in a bed for many years i cannot imagine lata ji being like lying sick in a bed for many years where has lata mangeshkar gone she's gone nowhere she was there with us before i was born 
So she was in my past. She was all through in my present. She will always be in my future. I will be dusted and gone and she will still be there. Lata Mangeshkar lives forever. Uh, she will never be gone. So, uh, it makes you believe uh, in things like immortality. Yes, uh, some last rites have been performed as per the rules of the society for a body. But to confine her to a physical form will be... Uh, I don't think so we can do that. I, I, I don't know whether it is that. It cannot be. There was Lata Mangeshkar in our life. We didn't get up in the morning and have breakfast together. But she was still such a huge part of her life. And she'll remain that. So, where has she gone? Nowhere. In fact, she is more part of us now. Than she was ever. He declined the offer to be the lead actor for Roja. But he agreed to shoot Bombay. Much before Roja and Bombay, he roped in Rahman for many advertising films. The camaraderie between Rahman and cinematographer director Rajiv Menon has withstood the test of time. Rajiv Menon joins us in our next episode. Stay with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.